Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And this time, as you can see, it's the unboxing of this beautiful helicopter from Special Hobby. And this is, of course, the 148 scale AH-1G Cobra with markings for the Israeli Air Force and the Spanish Naval Air Arm. So, yeah, nice kit, and I do like the the box art. Really nice. It's the same one as a one seventy second scale kit. So, uh, pretty good, I guess. <laughs> I'd say it would be suitable for framing, but uh, yeah, well, this would be fine, but. All this other stuff around the sides kind of nixes that idea, I guess. But still, though, nice, nice art. And I do like the scheme for the Spanish Air Force or Naval Air Arm, sorry. Really cool. Very, very different for sure. Uh, so we go around the box, of course. And we have four schemes that you can make. Two for the... Spain and two for the Israeli Air Force. So, of course, one's for the Navy, and the other one I think would be for the actual Army. Fuerza Armada. Mm, of course, the box number is SH48202, or the kit number, item number. Go around the side, you just got a barcode there. And, uh,. On this side here and of course you got a little bit more info all these uh, online sites for it CMK kids special hobby Facebook and of course you got some uh, Polish warnings and English warnings and there it shows you what it says some uh, code there for what side I don't know probably the same as a uh, one of these here and then the same thing on there so let's go and start I guess today with well instead of the manual let's start off with the parts itself now I got this kit and um, here in Germany where I'm currently uh, stationed uh, and I got this in, oh, what's the name of that hobby shop? Ponza, folks. Uh, it's close to where I live here in Ramstein, so. Or not where I live in Ramstein, but where I work at. And uh, I just opened up the box already, so. Or the back to make it easier to display the parts. So bear with me. There was one part that was already broken but that's okay because it's not actually used in the kit I mean you can use it but the instructions don't call for it and I'll show you in a second tell you what though this kit is has like a bunch of parts and of course there were some that were loose and there's one little tiny one which is that one there and it does look like a part, so I don't know if what it belongs to or if it was just part of um, the sprue. But I think it's a part because, I mean, that looks like it's been uh, made or something. So I guess I'll find out eventually where it goes to. And, of course, the part that was broken is here. And this belongs to one of the skids. Right there is the broken piece. So, no big deal. The only one that I'm wondering what it, where it goes to is this one here. Uh, I'm sure I'll find out eventually. But, um, let's get to it. Um, uh, for this kit, I was looking online, but... In Europe, of course, it makes it more expensive, and of course, shipping. 
And I decided, well, let me look in that hobby shop and see if they have it. And they did. So I ended up paying 40 euros for it. So I came out to, well, what, maybe 43 bucks or so? And I didn't have to pay shipping. So there we go. All right. So I guess we can start with this one here. Of course, this tree has uh, skids, two different types. I guess this one's for the early version. And of course, this is what the kit instructions call for, which was one that I like anyway, so I'll be using those. I mean, I'm sure I could probably fix these, but that uh, even if I do use glue, uh, super glue on that, I think the weld is going to be really weak and it's going to end up breaking anyways. But like I said, I'm glad that this piece was uh, actually... Uh, not used to the kit, so no biggie. Then we got the exhaust for the Israeli version. Got the minigun pod here, pieces for that. And as you can see, the detail is really crisp. Really nice. There we go. And of course, made by Special Hobby. Okay, so we got one part there. Put that one in the box. And I guess we can go on with this part here. I'm not really sure what these are. I think this is for the Gatling guns. So, or rocket pods, I mean, I guess. Yeah, rocket pods. Um, so there we go, that's that part, sprue G, and as you can, and as you saw, crisp detailing on it, oops, wrong side, so there you go, that's the front, and uh, the back, not too bad, okay, let me move these out of the way. And next up, we got these pieces here. Uh, I'm not sure what these are though. But I'm guessing they're uh, gun pods maybe? I'm not quite too sure on that. Or rocket pods? No, I think it's uh, gun pods. Because if you see inside there, it looks like a mini barrel, like a six barrel inside. There you go. So I think these are gun pods. And this kit has a lot of weapons to it, so that's really nice. And of course, more rocket pods here. Nicely made. And, uh, yeah, not much to it. One, two, three, four. Four of them. Very nice. And then we got this piece. Minigun. Oh, man, that's nice. And I guess this is where the ammunition goes. So, there we go nice all around and the uh, gun the mini gun actually looks really well detailed too crisp detailing all the way through so that's really cool all right let's move on to yet more weapons here's a smaller uh, rocket pod two of them with seven rockets each. So, real nice. And let's move on to this sprue here. Sprue C. Oh man, are you guys getting that right? 
Okay, so here we got a bunch of other pieces. Pylons for the weapons, right there. More pieces, and not really sure where all these pieces go to. But I'm guessing this is the drive shaft, the main drive shaft there. Got maybe UHF antenna there. Mm. Instrument panel, I'm sure. I'll turn it around in a second. Let's see. Oh. Maybe not. I don't know. No, I don't think so. 14. So a lot of pieces here. Oh, I think this is where you actually put the... Attached the rocket pots to. So there we go. There's that piece. Now moving along to this brew. And here we have the main uh, cockpit detailing, instrument panels and that kind of stuff. As you can see there. It's nicely detailed. Not too simplistic, I guess. But good enough. There we go. So that's real nice. Bunch of parts, armor for the seats, side armor and thinking. Bunch of antennas and actuators for the canopy, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that looks like a throttle quadrant. Oh, where am I? Might be, I'm not sure, but looks like it. Then you got the seats here. Cushions. More side armor. You got the main instrument uh, sun cover here. And turn it around. Yep, and that's it. So, lots of parts. And probably for lots of versions. So, next piece, please. Uh, I guess we can go with this one here. And it even has a separate uh, sprue for the. Uh, to tow the helicopter, you know, in and out from the hangar or whatever. So that's a really cool addition. Ah, okay, I find out what that piece is now. Now I see. There you go, that's the missing piece. The one that was broken off. Ooh. I wonder how this goes. Because that's just like a really small area to uh, glue it back together. I wonder what that's for. I'll have to look at the instructions later. But at least I know where it goes now, so that's cool. All right. So that's really cool. Little towing. Cart, whatever it's called, I forgot. I forgot. So that's a really cool addition to this kit. Makes for a nice diorama. And then we have one more sprue here. This part also broke off. Piece of the nose. Then we have two different tails. Uh, although I'm not really sure I see the difference. Oh yeah, okay. On this side here, for the has looks like it. Uh, different axis panels or maybe armor plates. Not sure. But that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, here we have the instrument panel. It looks actually pretty nice. Look at that. And again, crisp. And there's the one for the pilot. 
Let's see if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. No, that would be the gunner there. So, a bunch of options here. Oh, sorry about that. So, we got tons and tons of pieces. There's a tail rotor. And, of course, for the under the, the helicopter, I think that's where the searchlight would go. And then, of course, no detail on the backs. But that's okay. Real nice. My goodness. I'm glad I got it. I mean, I do have the... Fujimi version, which I might have to open up one day, and of course, and there's no comparison, but <laughs> I'll do it just for fun, anyways. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. So, anyways, second to last sprue, we get the main pieces here the main rotor blades. Looks real nice. Bit of detail there. So that's pretty cool. And then of course the main body. And look at the detail on that. That is nice. Real, real nice. Really clean moldings too, man. Look at that. And real easy to... Um, um, what should we call it? Cut around if you wanted to display this open. So that should make it a lot easier. Because I know the monogram kit, it didn't have this uh, uh, panel line for opening this up I had to scratch build that myself which I'm actually working on but that's for another video really haven't done too much on it but anyways anyways moving along moving along this is really nice when you got the opening there too that's really cool you get your uh, weapon store wings there stabilators uh, you can see the difference on there they are two they're not halves yep and then I'm wondering what this is I have to look at the instructions I'm not too sure what that's about oh and then we got another oh no that's for the bottom of that okay we get the bottom of the fuselage. There we go. The fuselage. Really good detail. Look at that. Nice. Dare I say, it's just as good as Hasegawa, I think. I mean, it's crisp. Look at that. Real nice. Let's see on the back side here. Is there any detailing there? No, not really, but it has a special hobby. Oh, come on. That, that, ooh. European. <laughs> so, real nice. Lots of parts. Oh my gosh. And then, of course, let's move on to the last one, which this I'm not going to open. I mean, you can see that they're clear. I can see this really clear. I don't see any, like, warping from the molding process. And, of course, it has two different uh, canopies on here. Um, not really sure I see the difference on them. Trying to look at the shape. 
but uh, hmm. I have to look at it in more detail later on but I know on this one I can already see the difference there let me see you can see that right there this side doesn't have it but uh, you got all the other little pieces there searchlights and whatnot piece for the nose maybe I'm not sure if that's it or just like anti-collision lights and whatnot guess we'll find out when you look at the instructions but uh, yeah these two different canopies I don't I don't really see the difference unless one is to for the closed version and one is the open one where you can attach the actuator on what's right I'll look at the instructions and see so that's that lots of clear pieces there Ooh, real nice then we have the decals and I don't need to say anything on these because they're made by cartograph so even just looking at it from the clear baggy here the decals are nice real nice okay so now we go to the instruction booklet and I think oh let me turn this light off and see if it's better so there's not so much shade shadow but it's in color so it's real nice you got a um, history on the aircraft in Czech, English. Oops. And let's see. Is that it? Yeah, I guess so. Yep. So we go in the front and it has the layout of all the parts. And if you can see, there's a lot of pieces that aren't used a lot of pieces see there's a landing gear or the skids that aren't used the ones that came broken in my kit <laughs> and then that piece is not used I think it's a pylon and then one of the tails is not used and a couple pieces here and there. And, uh, hmm. I guess there's more on the other page. Yeah. I don't know. Come around here. Clear parts. See, those are not used. Man, a bunch of them actually. Wow. Okay. Oh, I didn't even notice that one. That's like a third different version from these. Okay. And of course, it suggests you use a, a mask to make it easier. So then we go to the instructions already. Starting off with the canopy and just look at all the detail. Hold on a second. Uh, I'll just use this. I mean, you can see they didn't have the rotor pedals there. Or for the tail rotor, actually. Well, that's a lot of detail on there. That's awesome. Let me go to the instrument panel. There we go. Lots of detail. Oh, and he has decals for it too. I didn't even see those. Let me look real quick. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. That's because they're in clear white. Let me see. They're right there. Oh, let me see if we guess can make it more clear. Where well, you can't see, really see it. B, C, and A, I think. They're just the white dials. So that's why I didn't see those. Okay. So there we go. And the seats. Of course, all the color callouts. Oh, this manual is nice. Now, this one is this detailed. Oh, man, I wish they would come up with the AH1F Cobra or Step 3, if you know. The last one to, to be made, the one that I actually worked on in the Army. That would be nice. Because even though Monograms is still a really good kit, it's kind of up, outdated and it needs to be redone. With rescribed panel linings, or not rescribed, scribed panel linings and whatnot. And like I said, you know, the option for having the canopy open and all that. But, anyways, let's move along. I'm getting distracted again. So, here's a main body instructions, and you got for the tail rotor, the swash plates, and all that. Really nice. Come around this way. Oh, okay. So this is armor plating. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so that's cool. Hmm. Let me go to more pieces there. Gives you options, I guess, for different uh, armor plating there. Okay. Nice. Then over here you have to drill some holes. And I'm guessing that's for the UHF antenna or some other kind of a Antenna. VHF, maybe. I'm not sure. I can't remember what antenna that was for. Okay, and then you come down here. Got your armament section. Yeah, that's for the munitions, I guess, for the Gatling gun. Okay, and I guess you should put this on step 20, just showing you how it goes. Hmm. You got the option here for the different uh, stabulator. Okay. More parts here. And then over here as well. Okay, then we got here the chin turret. Yeah, there's your searchlight. Then you got your position lights. That's cool. Oh, okay, now this is for the... Well, I'm not really sure what that's for. But looking at this, it looks like a feeder belt for the ammunition. Since it attaches to the pods here. So I'm guessing this is the ammunition chute. Hmm, okay. And then there's your Gatling gun. Nice. Then your skids. Your tail hook. Tail skid. And then your rear tail rotor. Duh. Your tail rotor. <laughs> uh, and then for the main rotor blade. 
Oh, and be careful because it has a certain position it goes to there. Nice. Boy, they really put detail on this thing. Look at that. Wow, nice. Main rotor hub assembly, there we go. Boy, they really go into detail here. That is awesome. And then the canopy. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, see, I told you. I was right. So you can actually pose this open. That is awesome. That is real good. Sweet. And then here we have more underwing armament options here. Cool. I'll have, to, I'll have to apologize about that shading there. Shadow. Oh, okay. That's for the wheels attachment. Oh, so that should be no problem. Seeing it right there, I think. Yeah. Okay. So no loss there. If the part, if I can't fix the part, it's not a big deal. Uh, but this part's not even showing the little piece. Hmm. Okay. And then here you have the towing hook. Oh, I forget what it's called. So that's pretty neat. And then, of course, the color schemes. Pretty awesome. you have for the let's see yeah the, for the army basically arma aérea de la armada española yep and then the other one was for the navy right that must be the same thing but this is for the marines so, well, no, I'm guessing it is both for the for the Navy. Okay, I was wrong. And then you have your Israeli version here. And here you see the the turbine uh, heat signature block or whatever it's called. I can't remember, guys. I'm sorry. The terms, I forget. But here we go, a different version. And I'm guessing it's just a different, uh, yeah, different unit. This is, uh, what, H1G Zephyr, I guess, 126 Squadron Evaluation Unit, First Attack Helicopter Squadron. And this would be Squadron 130, same thing. And then of course here for the stencils. So, and then the bag, you just got some uh, other uh, kits that special hobby offers. Then, of course, they got some uh, Vietnam helicopter crew. Hmm. I wonder if I should get these for this kit. And some ground equipment. I do have that one. And these two. So that's pretty cool. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, so that concludes my unboxing for this kit. I hope it serves you well, but I do highly recommend getting this kit. I mean, of course, I haven't even put
put it together so i don't know how it's gonna the fit is gonna be but i'm pretty sure that the fit is gonna be really good or at least not with so many issues so there you have it h1g cobra go joe <laughs> all right bye guys till next time